have to say is one of the most addicting shows I have ever seen. And I tell everyone about this show. It's really great. All of you guys do such a wonderful job, and you are so amazing in this. Thank you so much. Are oh, you welcome? We love doing it. We love doing it. We think it's you know it's it's a it's a special uh, project for all of us to work on. So we hope uh, everybody else thinks it's special too. Yep. How did you end up playing such charming? Uh, well, I, it, I I got a call from my uh, my agents and uh, they said that there was this uh, this pilot script out there called Once Upon a Time and I read it and I thought it was one of the most unique uh, television scripts I certainly have ever read for network television. So I thought this is I've got to be part of this. So I went in and met the guys and. Uh, and then uh, a couple days later, I was uh, cast as their Prince Charming. Oh, that's so cool. And I know that Jennifer Goodwin had said she always wanted to be a Disney princess. Did you ever want to be a prince when you were a kid? Um, uh, well, yeah, I think so. I think every, yeah, I think every young boy dreams of being a prince or, you know, at least, uh, at least, uh, dreams of uh, having a sword and riding horses and <laughs> fighting trolls and goblins dragons and things like that. <laughs> right. And I know that you have a background in theater. Did that help in playing Charming at all? Well, I, I, I don't know if it helps specifically in playing Charming, but I think it helps uh, in, in terms of acting anything, really. It gives you mm -hmm. a great kind of foundation and uh, work ethic uh, in how you approach uh, characters and things like that. I mean, I, so I think it, it helps not only in playing Charming, but in anything, really. Mm -hmm. Now, you were in living in London for uh, quite a while, and yeah. I, heard, I heard that as soon as you got back to the States, you were offered Sandral and Thor? Yeah, that's right. I, I, I came back, I, I lived in London for almost 11 years so wow time. london is a awesome city it's you know it, it's been my home for a long long time and i thought you know i really want to get back to uh you know to the states and so i came back to la and uh yeah it was like five days later i got the call saying you know they wanted to offer me to part of fandral and tour and i was like okay well this is <laughs> this is a nice introduction back home right like, i'm not i'm not gonna go back <laughs> That's cool. Has anyone spoken to you about the sequel to Thor yet? Yeah, they have. I mean, it's in the works. Obviously, we start uh, shooting sometime uh, next year. I think we're actually going to be shooting in London. And oh. uh, it's, uh, yeah, next year. So it's happening. I, I don't know. The truth is I don't know what adventures Thor and his... Uh, his uh, comrades are going to be going on yet because the, uh, I haven't wrote a script yet for it, but I know it's in the works and Don Payne is, is writing away somewhere, locked in some room, no doubt. And, uh, yeah, it's ex exciting. I can't wait to uh, go on more adventures in Asgard. You know? Yeah, I can't wait to see it because I love Thor so much. I saw it three times in the theater. Oh, thank you so much. I think it's I think it's a great movie. I think Chris is uh, fantastic as Thor. I think he's you know he's the perfect embodiment of that character. I think Ken Branner did uh, an amazing job in fleshing out the story mm -hmm. and you know the relationships between these characters, between particularly you know Loki and right. Thor and Odin, and I think uh, he he kind of really created that world for us. It's a shame he's not coming back yeah. you know, as, as, as the director, but you know, Patty Jenkins, no doubt, will uh, be able to tell an incredible story. Yeah, I, I, I'm so excited for it. Uh, everybody did such a great job on that as well. I've been reading comic books for a very long time, and everyone, everyone did a great job. Uh, thank you so much. Did you read Thor? Did you? Of course, yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think, you know, I think it's got such, you know, it's got such kind of scope to it, and I, it's got amazing, amazing characters throughout Thor, so mm -hmm. I think it, it, it makes, I, I, I think with what Ken and what Marvel did with the movie, it made such a perfect transition from the comic book to something very cinematic, and mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I love the movie. I think, I think it's great, too, so I'm glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Okay, well, getting back to Once Upon a Time, uh, you and Jennifer, Jennifer have great chemistry on the show. And, well, thank you very much. Oh, you guys, you're welcome. You guys are awesome. But 
Cinderella had always been my favorite fairy tale, but after you came out of that coma and I saw that preview for the next episode was about Cinderella and not about you guys, I was like, no, get back to Charming and Snow White. Uh, well, that's very, that's very kind of you. I'm, I'm glad you're, you know, you're, you're into the Snow and Charming uh, story and, and their, and their epic love that they have for each other. Don't worry, we will be back. And you know, we, I guess, I guess we, we gotta, we gotta feed it to you like a treat. I guess. Uh, <laughs> we can't give you too much. Right. Well, actually, I, w- I thought you guys were gonna drag it out more. I wasn't expecting you to come out that coma that quick. Well, well, remember, Storybrook is where we're all cursed. So, right. you know, it, it, there, there's always going to be there, there's lots of obstacles <laughs> that, <laughs> right. that will 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 become more and more clear as the episodes come out. And you know, and I guess that I mean that's the, the that's the whole thing about Storybrook is that is uh, where we go uh, for the curse and and where the happy endings. Um, are kept away from us. So we're constantly, um, our characters in Storybook are constantly searching for that. Uh, right. Th- th- subconsciously, they don't, because they obviously have no memory of who they who they were or who they are. So um, that happy ending is, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so close yet so far away always. Now, how close will be the relationship between Mary, Margaret, and David, though, in the next coming episodes? Like, will we see something before the year is out, or? Oh, for sure. For sure? <laughs> for sure. You, you will definitely see a, a, a relationship of some kind building. Mm-hmm. And, and there's obviously, um, yeah, there is, there's definitely a connection between mm-hmm. the two. A very strong connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this Catherine woman that claimed to be David's wife, now is this marriage like going to be a sham or because it seemed kind of shady to me, the whole thing? Well, it, I, 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 I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but um, it, 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 I, I will say that it may or may not be um, a real part of David's past. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Do you do you prefer playing David or the Prince? Well, I prefer, I, I love playing both characters. I I think it, it's hard playing David because he. I mean, I, it's not hard, but it's um, it's certainly a challenge, and it's not it's not a nice place to be as an actor or mm-hmm. as a character because you know he is, it, in Storybrooke it is a place where. Uh, you know, as I said, you know, happy endings are stripped away. He's he's a very conflicted <laughs> man. He uh, he's very confused. Mm-hmm. You know, he he's he's fighting, um, being true to memories that he thinks he should have, and also being true to to feelings and emotions that he's having at the moment that mm-hmm. are real and conflicting to the memories that he's supposed to have. So it's. It's difficult. It's difficult, and it's not always a fun place to be uh, as an actor. Certainly, uh, playing David because you know it's 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 uh, it's conflicting. It's it's uh, dark. It's sad, mm-hmm. um, and you know it, it's always um, you know I, I, it's not fun to be in a place where you're playing a man who is um, you know in, in many ways the opposite to charming because charming is is confident and knows who he is as a man and, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, you know has a has a uh, sense of purpose about him and David is uh, kind of he's lost he's lost in trying to figure out where he belongs and and uh, what his uh, what his true identity is and what his past is and you know he's just he, he's a he's a man with a lot of question marks mm-hmm. which is frustrating you know, it's frustrating for him and it's frustrating as an actor to play it because, um, you know, it, it's always fun to, to, you know, of course, to play charming and, and be that confident, uh, that confident man that he is and, and be able to kind of run with that. But David is, is uh, certainly conflicted. So, but I mean, it's fun playing both for sure. And, and as an actor, and that's what's so great for all of us as actors to be um, on 
on the show, which is unique because we're playing, you know, all the, we're playing all these different characters. We're playing, you know, essentially two different characters that are the same person, but they have different experiences as characters, so which changes them. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a joy. It's like hitting the jackpot as an actor to be able to, you know, play these different sides all the time. Right. So, uh, what's it like filming? What's the atmosphere like on the show, on the set? Does it feel like another acting job, or does it feel like you're playing make believe with these fairy tale stories? No, I mean, it, I mean, it's, it's, it certainly doesn't feel like another acting job. It's, it's something it, that feels very special mm -hmm. uh, for us. You know, everyone involved, you know, from the crew, from the directors, the entire cast, everybody is top notch and bringing their A game every day. And we, because we love it, everyone's so passionate about it. Mm -hmm. So it certainly doesn't feel like just another acting job. And as far as, you know, feeling like we're just, you know, playing make-believe in fairy tale land, I don't, I think, you know, every, I don't think we feel that. I think we feel, you know, whether it's in fairy tale land or um, in Storybrooke, it, it's all a, it's all a real reality. Mm -hmm. So we're all playing very real characters and 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 uh, hopefully making them you know real and complex and you know just like you know people are in real life and you know whether we're charming or David or Snow White or Mary Margaret or whatever you know you know the charming and Snow White you know story the love story of that is very real and it's a we wanted we wanted to make it, you know, a very real love, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to, um, I don't know, something more um, two-dimensional, you know, we wanted to make it something deeper than that and real. Cool. And hopefully we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. You definitely are. Like I said, you guys switched from Cinderella to Snow White. Like, that, I thought that never happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. They will be back. They will be back. Okay. Yeah. What's the hardest thing you've had to do on the show? Um, uh, the hardest thing that I've had to do in the show. Well, I guess it was. I guess it was one of three. There was a lot of. Uh, there, I had a lot of sword fighting and kind of you know bow and arrow action going mm -hmm. on in one of three. And I remember it's really, really hot <laughs> in Vancouver. And we were out in the woods in the beautiful, beautiful part of uh, North Vancouver. And I'm in, of course, all leather. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't really breathe, you know. Uh -huh. So I was doing a lot of running around, a lot of sword fights. So there was a lot of sweating going on. So that was, uh, that was, uh, I, it was a brilliant, fun, you know, incredible day. But it was tough. <laughs> Physically. Okay. Has anything happened behind the scenes that was really funny that would be like a blooper or end up in a gag reel? Oh, I'm sure that I'm. I'm sure that there's lots of things that happen like that. I'm, I can't remember anything specifically, but um, let me think. I can't really remember anything specifically. I mean, the thing about it is, is that we're all so kind of passionate about it, and we're all kind of. Uh, this is like boring for you because it, uh, we don't really have any bloopers, I guess. <laughs> passionate about it and everybody kind of comes in wanting to do the best job uh, they possibly can so there's not a lot of kind of big mess ups or anything like that uh -huh. and also there's just not a, there's just not the time there's not the time because you know we shoot an episode you know the way network television works it's you know you're shooting we shoot an episode in eight days so right. that's how long it takes to make a, an episode so there's not a lot of time <laughs> Kind of, that's right. We all have a great time, and it's all you know. Uh -huh. But but there's not a lot of there's not a lot of bloopers that happen. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> now uh, I read that the ratings and the viewership have been great for the show. Uh, yeah. Is the second season already being planned out? Um, if it is, we haven't been told about it. I mean, obviously we hope so. Mm -hmm. We hope people, you know, keep tuning in every week and, and watching us. We love our viewers and we love that they're loving the show. I mean, I'm on Twitter and they, you know, the messages that I get about people loving the show and loving the character and particularly the Snow and Charming storyline, you know, is, is so humbling and, and fantastic. It just feels good that we're, 
out there doing it and, and people are loving it. So, which is why, you know, because of them, because of our viewers, which is why we got picked up, you know, for a full season. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully they, they stay, yeah, everybody stays tuned into it and we'll get a second season out of it. So um, we haven't been told yet, but fingers crossed. Yes, fingers, all fingers and toes. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Thanksgiving is next week. Do you have any plans for the holiday? Um, I am going snow skiing. Oh, that's cool. Now, I'm with the Gorgeous Geeks, and we are all about showing geek pride. Do you have any geeky hobby, hobbies or habits? Um, I don't know. What do you consider geeky? <laughs> I guess the real question is, what do you consider geeky? Uh, um, see, I guess I, I'm sure I probably do. I mean, I'm like, you know, you know I, I, I read comics. I, oh, you do? I read, yeah, I certainly read comics. I read Thor growing up. I've read a lot of fables. Which okay. I think it's really super cool. Um, I don't know. Is that geeky? I don't think that's geeky. Well, I don't think it's geeky either, but a lot of people do. So. Well, let's, then we shall be geeky and proud. Yes, we shall. <laughs> yes, we shall. But that's great. I didn't, I didn't know that you read Thor before you actually got the part of Fandral. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah I read Thor. I was, yeah, it's for, it, I was more, I read more more of Captain America growing up, but mm -hmm. I didn't, I, but Thor, I was, uh, you know, I kind of dipped in and out of, but I wasn't, I read Captain America um, more than I did Thor, but, um, and certainly I've gotten into, since I started this, I got into uh, Fables, which is uh, a really, really cool series. Yeah. So did you like the Captain America movie? I loved it. I thought, I thought Chris Evans is perfect, you know, he was perfect for it. I think, um, they did. They made a great movie. You know, I think I think it's entertaining. It's fun. It tells the story. You know, it goes back to the origins. And I think that's what's important about all these. You know, when comic when comic book movies come out, like Thor, mm -hmm. um, when the first movies come out, they really have to make it about the origin of it and 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 talk about you know where the character has come from and and which uh, gets you into the story so much more. Mm -hmm. Now, I've said before of how much I love the show, and I, like I said, I'm telling everyone about it. I'm actually surprised about how many guys I've encountered that really love the show as well. Well, well. I know. I'm hearing more and more about guys, you know, on Twitter and stuff, like guys that are loving the show, and I was, um, I, I, I don't want to say surprised. I don't know. It just, it, I guess it did kind of surprise me, and I'm, I'm so glad that they're tuning in and they're watching because you know it's, it's not, it's not just for girls or for right. women or, 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 or kids or whatever. It's definitely, you know, we're, we're just so pleased that we have such a wide scope of viewers. You know, it's, it's I think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know, but there, there's still some people out there who are kind of hesitant to watch the show because it's like, you know, fairy tales. So what would you say to those people that are hesitant to watch the show? That it is, it's not your typical fairy tales. I mean, it's all these famous fairy tale characters that we all know and we've all grown up with and we all love. But it, it's, it's somehow, um, we're telling the side. We're telling the side. The, the, the stories of these characters. The side that we don't. That we don't know. Mm -hmm. We're telling all, all the aspects of these characters that we have never heard before. So it somehow goes deeper. It somehow goes to a different level. It's some. It, it, you know. And how fantastic! You're finding out how Snow and Prince Charming. How, how they met. We're finding out how he got the name Charming. We're finding out, you know, we're, we're finding out all these great things that we we know, I mean, that we don't know about these characters that we think we know already. So it's, you know, it's, it's not just your typical fairy tale. All right. Well, thank you, Josh, so much. That's all my questions I have. My pleasure, and thank you so much for loving the show and spreading the word. Uh, I will definitely spread the word to everyone. I will not stop till I have all of Detroit watching this show. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Love Detroit. I've been there a couple times. I love it. Oh, thank you. Uh, You're from Louisville, though, right? I am from Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. Right. Right, right down there south. But um, yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in and and, and getting people watching. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry we're not on for another two weeks. I know.
know, but it's the holiday. What can you do? So. Exactly. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, I have a family. I have five sisters, a brother, and uh, wow. so we're going to have a big family dinner. Awesome. awesome. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. All right. Thanks uh, a lot. Uh, thank you, too. Bye. Bye.